This video will show you how to properly power your CAD prism pump with battery and power pack. It is important to use the power pack if you were provided one because your medication requires more power than the 9 volt battery will provide. Not using the power pack may result in pump failure due to power loss. Please begin by preparing your work surface by cleaning the area thoroughly with soap and water or a disinfectant wipe. And drying thoroughly as well. Wash your hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds and then dry your hands. Use a separate towel to turn the faucet off. The CAD prism is turned on by inserting the 9 volt battery and turned off by removing it. The 9 volt battery must always be in the pump during use, even when using the power pack. To power on the pump, remove the battery door by pushing the white button and sliding the door off. Insert the 9 volt battery into the pump. Replace the battery door. You know you have inserted it correctly when the pump chirps. Once the battery has been placed into the pump, it will go through an automatic review displaying the pre-programmed pump infusion settings. You will know the automatic review is complete and the pump is ready to be used when the screen reads power up successful and you hear a series of beeps. If using the external power pack to extend the battery infusion time, open the rubber cover of the power jack on the side of the pump. Line up the red mark on the power pack's cord connector and the red mark on the pump. Then push the connector fully into the pump with a straight motion until it stops. Do not twist or turn the connector. The cord must be pushed in straight so wires inside the cord aren't bent. Once the power pack cord is connected, grasp the connector directly behind the flared portion and lightly pull to ensure the connector is securely attached. This is important because failure to push the connector all the way into the pump may result in loss of power. Watch for the message Power Pack Good on your pump's display. If your display does not read Power Pack Good, double check the connections to prevent pump failure. At the end of your infusion, you will power down the pump after you have stopped the infusion by removing the 9 volt battery and the power pack. To do this, press the button on the battery door and slide the battery door forward. Remove the used battery. Set the battery aside and replace the battery door. Replace your 9 volt battery three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to prevent power failure. Remove the power pack from the pump. You will need to charge your power pack once it is disconnected from your infusion pump for seven hours each day, either while the pump is not in use or when you are asleep. To charge the power pack, insert the AC adapter connector into the power pack input port by lining up the red mark on the power AC adapter and the red mark on the power pack input port. Then, push the connector fully into the power pack in a straight motion until it stops. Do not twist or turn the connector. The cord must be pushed in straight so you do not bend the wires inside the cord. Then plug the AC adapter into the wall outlet. Your power pack should charge a minimum of 7 hours each day. The solid amber light on the power pack will indicate the battery is charging. Once fully charged, the solid green light will indicate the power pack is ready to be used. The battery should be used charged and stored in the temperature range of 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 95 degrees Fahrenheit to prevent loss of power. 
Your power pack will require monthly maintenance. Once a month, or more frequently if your power pack is showing signs of not holding a charge, you'll need to use the battery refresh cycle to restore battery capacity. You will know your power pack is not holding a charge when you have more frequent low battery alarms on your pump. The power pack should not be attached to the pump when you refresh your power pack. Attach the AC adapter into the power pack input port by lining up the red mark on the power AC adapter and the red mark on the power pack input port. Then, push the connector fully into the power pack in a straight motion until it stops. Do not twist or turn the connector. The cord must be pushed in straight so you do not bend the wires inside the cord. Plug the AC adapter into the wall outlet. The AC adapter must be plugged into the wall outlet throughout the entire refresh cycle. Once the power pack is connected to the AC adapter and plugged into the wall, press the refresh button on the front of the power pack. This will drain all of the power out of the battery. The refresh cycle will take approximately 8 hours to completely discharge and recharge the power pack. The amber light will flash when the power pack is discharging and will turn solid amber once the power pack begins to charge. The green light will come on when the power pack is fully charged. Please call 1-800-755-4704 if you have any questions or concerns at all while using your CAD PRISM pump. We are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. In the event of an emergency, always call 911.